Hello everyone and welcome back to Art History Shorts. Last week I introduced the art movement Abstract Expressionism and I talked about the basics of this movement and also I shared some thoughts on abstract in general. In this video I'm going to talk about one artist from the movement in particular and that is Lee Krasner and her painting titled Gaia. Krasner as an artist wasn't exactly given the same credit and praise as we saw that she started to get from the 1970s through today but she was a prominent figure of the abstract expressionist world. You could even make the case that without Lee Krasner, we wouldn't know Jackson Pollock as we do today. Her work was diverse and wide-ranging over her career. We can see the progression here through the years and decades. She also worked in different styles with painting, uh, she did mosaics and screen printing, also collage. Like I mentioned in the video on abstract expressionism, Krasner would cut up her old canvases and use the pieces to experiment and create collages of her own work. It's uh, for this reason we don't have a lot of examples of her earlier work. There's this sense that for her, art wasn't about the act of preservation. It was about the exploration, the search, the expression. So the painting Gaia, done in 1966, is a large-scale piece uh, at 5'9 by 10'6. And there's this really quick video on YouTube, I think it's about a minute long, that sweeps across the painting and gives you a better idea of the feel of the painting, more so than any picture I've come across. So I would recommend taking a look at this, and I'll have the link in the description. In this painting, we see a limited color palette. It's primarily pinks, creams, and these darker purples. There is so much movement to this piece. These larger sweeping swirls and curves cover the canvas. Curves and circular shapes are seen as feminine. There was actually a study done where they tested people's perceptions of shapes and they found that people associated um, masculinity with squares and femininity with circles. The overall feminine quality to this piece works in tangent with the title of it. Gaia in Greek mythology is the mother. She is the goddess of the earth and created the sky and mountains and the sea. When viewing this piece, I imagine this Greek goddess in all her swirling movement, pushing and pulsing, she's too much to be contained. She's bursting off this canvas. You can interpret the pink and white shapes as eyes, breasts, eggs, a mouth. There isn't a fully articulated woman here, but the suggested pieces of one. Looking closer, you can see some seriously beautiful movement to this piece. Uh, in this top left corner here with these sweeping strokes, and then look at these lines dripping down. We see gravity at work. This painting is organic and alive. There's energy and movement. Krasner's work often centered around or recalled nature and fertility and the feminine. She has said of her own work that even though abstract, there is content that she draws from. Her pieces pull from a starting source, and we can interpret her paintings from this place while also marveling at the strokes and the techniques and how she places paint on the canvas. I hope you enjoyed this look at Lee Krasner's Gaia. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time where we talk about another painter from Abstract Expressionism.